will say we carried the dead with us. She takes that kind of literally. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Katana. My name is Tatsuya Mashiro, and your city is in great danger. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1984's Batman and the Outsiders number 11 to 12, which was expanded upon in 2013's Katana number 7. <laughs> The martial arts expert known as Katana first appeared in 1983 as a member of the newly founded Outsiders team, but her origin wasn't explored until a year later. Katana was born in Japan under the name Tatsu. She was encouraged at a young age to concentrate on martial arts, at which she exhibited a significant talent. As a young woman, she attracted the attention of two brothers, Maseo and Takeo Yamashiro, both of whom wished to marry her. Tatsu chose Maseo, and that created a rift between the two brothers. Takeo left the family and became a high-ranking member of the Japanese mob, the Yakuza. Tatsu and Maseo were very happy together and were soon blessed with two children. But Takeo's anger and jealousy grew as the years passed. When he came into the possession of an ancient sword known simply as the Katana, which by the way means sword, he decided to take revenge on his brother. He attacked Maseo at home, killing him with the Katana. Tatsu wrestled the Katana away from Takeo, but the struggle led to a fire in her home. Tatsu tried to rescue her children, but she heard Maseo's disembodied voice telling her that it was too late and that she must leave. It turned out that the katana had been created by a 14th century swordsmith named Muramasa, who possessed special abilities. The katana was a soul taker, sometimes taking the souls of those it had killed and keeping them. It had done this with Maseo, and so Tatsu's dead husband was able to communicate with her through the sword. Tatsu soon took on the costumed identity of katana, and became a member of the Outsiders. But she kept up the search for Takeo, seeking vengeance upon him. Takeo! <laughs> Unfortunately, Takeo arranged to steal the katana sword, then used a spell to release Maseo from the sword. The spell gave Takeo complete control over Maseo, and he attempted to use him to kill Tatsu, or at least force Tatsu to kill Maseo, now alive again, in self-defense. Either way, he should have his ultimate revenge on both of them. Tatsu refused to kill her beloved husband. Maseo could not obey Takeo's orders, but he did trick Tatsu into killing him to save her friend, Halo. Tatsu then turned her sword on Takeo and dispensed with him as well. <laughs> Katana eventually left the Outsiders and became a member of other groups, such as the Birds of Prey and the Suicide Squad. In 2013, her origin was revised somewhat when she was awarded her own series. In this retelling, Tatsu knew Maseo and Takeo since they were children. When they grew up, she chose Maseo as her husband because he had offered her safety and security. Though she had been an independent tomboy as a child, as a wife, she chose to be submissive to her husband's will. She even assisted him on missions in which they killed people, accepting Maseo's word that these were evil people who deserved their fate. When Takeo confronted him about these murders, Maseo drew his special katana sword and threatened his brother. Tatsu tried to disarm him, but in doing so, accidentally killed Maseo, sending his soul into the katana. And so, Katana the person took up the sword and started her own career seeking vengeance and justice as one of DC Comics' deadliest anti-heroes. As a skilled martial artist, Katana is a formidable foe even when she's unarmed. However, her incredible skill with the Katana sword makes her a force to be reckoned with. Plus, her tragic backstory gives an extra push to her intense desire for justice. Where will you go? Kumamoto. There is a monastery there near my childhood home. Are you... Versus... You might think you know Ninjak, but here are 12 facts you may not have known about Valiant's number one assassin and spy. Ninjak first appeared in Valiant comic books Bloodshot number 6 from July 1993, and was the creation of writer Mark Moretti and artist Joe Quesada. He would receive his own series later that year, which would run for 26 issues before ending in November 1995. Ninjak number one was the best-selling comic in America for books that were covered dated February 1994, making it the first Valiant comic to hit number one on the sales charts. Thanks both to Buzz and its fancy wraparound chromium cover, the book was named hottest book of that month by Wizard Magazine. The original Ninjak was Colin King, the wealthy son of a British super spy who was killed by a rival agent. 
King trains himself in the arts of ninjutsu in order to first get revenge on his father's killer, but then continues to use his skills on behalf of England and the world as the heroic ninja. In 1996, Valiant was purchased by video game developer Acclaim Entertainment, who renamed the publisher Acclaim Comics. Each title was rebooted to be more easily adapted to video games and appealing to gaming fans. Ninjak was no exception, and a new Ninjak series launched in March 1997 and lasted 12 issues. The new Ninjak series was by Kurt Busick and Neil Bokes, and featured a team named Denny Meacham, who, by solving a puzzle in his favorite video game, Ninjak, gains the ability to turn into the hero of the game, Ninjak. He becomes a superhero and battles the 12 bosses from the game, who also came to life. The Valiant Universe was rebooted as Valiant Entertainment in 2012, and issue number 5 of the rebooted Exo Man of War series saw the debut of a new Ninjak. This new version of Ninjak received his own third solo series in March 2015 from writer Matt Kent and artist Clay Mann. The rebooted Ninjak, like the original, is Colin King, a British spy from a family of spies. But whereas the original Ninjak studied ninjutsu to get revenge for his murdered father, the new Ninjak studies ninjutsu to get revenge for his murdered girlfriend. The new Ninjak series reveals the secret of Ninjak's name. It is in fact a codename assigned to him by MI6, and is really Ninja K rather than Ninja, which reveals that there are other ninja operatives out there named Ninja A through Ninja J, and maybe others. While Ninjak does not have any explicitly superhuman powers, his training in various martial arts has given him complete control over his body, such that he can heal himself, is immune to poisons, and will live a longer than average life. He is also a weapons master and a technological genius. Ninjak has used his immense wealth and tech genius to develop an arsenal of futuristic ninja weapons that he uses on his missions. His most notable weapons are his gimmick throwing stars, but he also uses self-sharpening katanas and a high-tech suit that lets him run up walls and become nearly invisible. Besides his work as a spy and mercenary, Ninjak is also a member of the law enforcement arm of the Global Agency for Threat Excision known as Unity. Other members of Unity include such notable Valiant heroes as the Eternal Warrior, Exo Man of War, and Livewire. Valiant has announced that 2017 will see the debut of a six-episode live-action web series called Ninjak vs. the Valiant Universe, in which, well, Ninjak fights the Valiant Universe. It will notably feature Jason David Frank, a.k.a. Tommy from Power Rangers, as Bloodshot.